Hey guys, we meet again. I'm honestly gonna run out of ways to say that. Alright, let's just address one thing. My face is disgusting right now because last week I put peanut butter on my face. And I had a big acne breakout. And I knew it would happen, but guess what? I don't care. Today I'm gonna talk about something I don't really put on my channel, but I can do whatever I want. It is the Mandela Effect. Now, if you haven't heard of it ever, what are you doing with your life? Basically, it's this theory that someone or something went back in time and changed something like the butterfly effect. And in today's time, it's different. And I know you're thinking, oh my god, Shane's made a video. I know he made a video this week, and I'm kind of mad because I was planning this for two weeks already. But I'm gonna go with it. The reason why it's called the Mandela Effect is because a lot of people remember Nelson Mandela dying in like the 1980s. But in reality, he died in 2013. And they even wrote Nelson Mandela died in 1980 in a book. It is on hard copy. It went through all the people who checked over that book so many times and made it onto the shelves, saying that Nelson Mandela died in 1980. And now I can't look at things the same way anymore. It's like, it's changed the way I see life. Anyways, you might remember something called the Berenstain Bears. It was a TV show and they had books and it was just like this family of bears who would just have fun. And people like me, I remember it's spelled B-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N. But in reality, it's spelled with an A instead of an E. Now, I want you guys to say in the comments which one you remember, just so we can get people fighting, because I like that. So right now, currently, all the evidence leads to it being spelled with an A. And Shane said this, but somehow there was this little DVD, I think. It had Baron Stain on the front, and it had Baron Stein on the side, which is either the biggest typo, and that person who made that DVD should be fired, or maybe someone traveled back in time and changed the thing. Now, what no one has shown on YouTube is the search results, basically how often people search up Baron Stain or Baron Stein. So I went on my iPad, I went to Google Trends, and I'm gonna put up a picture for you guys and look at it for a second. Tell me why the majority of the people in the beginning saw Berenstein and Berenstain at the same time. But then it slowly died out and mainly everyone was saying Berenstain. And if you see that little big peak, yeah, that's when people first noticed it. This TV show was basically the start of the Mandela effect. It brought it back to life. And at the very end, you see a big peak again because it's suddenly blowing up again. Now, I know it might be confusing and not a lot of people are convinced, but this next one will convince you, I'm sure of it. You might remember a scene in Snow White where that witch girl thing is talking to the mirror and says, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Everyone I know knew it as Mirror Mirror, but if you go back, and I'll show the clip right now. What wouldst thou know, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? It says magic mirror on the wall, and it says fairest one of all. They changed two parts of that little phrase. And if you look up on the Google Trends, literally 99% of the people search up mirror mirror and not magic mirror. It's barely anywhere. And I'll show you another clip of an advertisement where they say mirror mirror on the wall. Mirror on the wall. Tell me, mirror, what is wrong? Now, you might be wondering, well, you're telling me that the majority of people remember this as Mirror Mirror for a good five years and they're just now realizing it's Magic Mirror. I call bullshit to that. I refuse to believe that all of us have been saying Mirror Mirror wrong for a clean five years. And once again, you see the very peak at the end because we are just now figuring it out. The last scene is from Star Wars where Luke finds out who his father really is. In my mind, and I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys remember it as Luke, I am your father. Roll the clip. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. And rolling back. That is the original movie clip. Why does it say, no, I am your father? Tell me why. Go to Google Trends and you look at it. The majority of people say, Luke, I am your father. And you see a big peak and then a small peak at the very end. That just means people are now finding it out. When this thing has been out, I think for like 30 years maybe? How, how long has Star Wars been out? I don't know. I don't keep up with this stuff. But I do know that it has been out for too long. So people are wondering, why is this happening now? Why are we just figuring out all of these little things that are different? And it's not just these three things. There is like a whole list I'll put on the side. But I personally don't remember any of them, so I can't speak for them. You can go down that rabbit hole because 10 out of 10 would recommend. So possible theories right now. One, everyone in their whole mind just heard it wrong. Two, maybe someone did travel back in time and change it. Or three, you can say that this whole thing, us as humans are an experiment and that aliens on the outside are changing something to see how we would react to it. Which I love that theory. I love anything about ancient aliens. And once again, I don't think you could say that we're just mishearing it. It doesn't really just make sense how so many people can butcher mirror mirror on the wall. 
but the statistics show it and Magic Mirror is nowhere to be found. There are people who write it in their diaries saying, oh my god, I love this phrase. It's on Macy's ads and then it just kind of makes you wonder what else is different. I know this is a topic I don't really talk about, but I love conspiracy theories and if you guys want more, put some in the comments down below. I love researching this stuff. I think it's cool to look at the other side of things because the way we see the world could just be all an illusion. So if you enjoyed, give this video a like. Leave a comment down below of which ones you remember and just vote if you want to... Oh, wait, this one. I'm mixing up left and right, Frederick. I'm telling you, this theory changes you. And just vote up there to tell me if you want more of these or not. If the majority says no, then I'll just stop. All right, I love you guys and everything is less than three. What if our names aren't even real? Like, what if my name is Teresa? No, no, Frederick, you're going crazy.